Good evening. Good evening. No, no, I was just passing, so I thought we'd get on. Well, I'll sit yourself down next to our Mr. Plato. Yep. Not Plato, the philosopher. That's right, yeah. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> no, honestly, I've read everything you've written because I'm a bit of a philosopher myself. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, what would you like, sir? I've got uh, Retsina with a drop of paraffin. Paraffin with a drop of Retsina and, of course, the, uh, the straight paraffin. Yeah, well, I'll have a paraffin top if I may. One I paraffin know. top. <laughs> and one for the sage as well. And one for Mr. Plato. <laughs> what a day I have had, I tell you. Working behind this bar all day, it drive you crazy. Well, you know what I always say? You don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps. <laughs> what was that? I said, you don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps. That is brilliant! <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is so clever. You know, that is, that, what if I was to what if I was to write that down? Yeah. You know, on a little yeah. bit of imitation wood. Oh, you know, yeah. a little bit of varnish. Yeah. Little gold chain. Oh yeah. I could stick it up behind the old bar, yeah. couldn't I? Yeah. If people come in. You know, it's sort of thought provoking. They'd say, "What a clever thing Magnus has got up behind his bar." Yeah. Oh, it's a marvellous idea. That. Don't you think so, Mister Plato? Well, it's mildly amusing, I suppose. <laughs> Call yourself a philosopher. You've never said anything as clever as that, have you? Yeah, well, I could if I wanted to. Yeah, no chance. I could. Go on, it. All right, then. All right. The square on the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle is equal to the sum of the squares on the two adjacent sides. <laughs> You've been getting pissed with Pythagoras again, haven't you? <laughs> you see, the trouble is, you see, it's not funny. I mean, it's not going to make my customers smile, is it? You know what I always say? Smile. People will wonder what you've been up to. <laughs> He's done it again! That is, that is, oh, that is bleeding profound, that is. It's so... Madness. Wait, 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 there's nothing clever about what he's saying. It's just a verbal quiddity. Well, it may just be a verbal quiddity to you, mate, but it's spun bloody gold, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, anyway, you're so clever. Go on, you do one. Go on, go on you right, do one. All right, all right, all right, then. All right. The, um, the, uh, the king's might is greater than human, and his arm is very long. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> well, come on, I'm not more down to earth to get that up behind Magnus's bar, I can tell you. Like, like, how about, how about, don't throw your cigarettes in the urinal, it makes them soggy and difficult to light. <laughs> oh, yes! Yeah, that is, that is fine, that is fine. Oh, go on, my son! <laughs> What's a urinal? <laughs> no one <there. laughs> Never mind, we'll stick that up. That is marvellous, that is. Uh, have another drink. On the taverna. One for you, I suppose, Mr Plato. Oh, I'm a bit strapped for cash, actually, Magnus, but... Uh... What, you want a bit of credit, do you? Yeah, if I could. Don't ask for credit as refusal often offends. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> very, very useful. I think that could be the most useful one of the lot, actually. 